this is Sam Visnick from endyourbackpainnow.com forward slash blog and I just wanted to cover today on my cool little uh, flip plate video recorder one of the most important muscle imbalances that you could ever correct in the body particularly when you have lower back pain and that is that of the iliopsoas muscle. Now many of you may be familiar with this muscle as the psoas is a hip flexor which means that it, it causes the leg to rise when the pelvis is held still it's a key stabilizer of the lower back as it connects to all five of the lower back vertebrae. So what I have here is a nice little spine to actually show you where this is. The muscle connects to all five of these lower uh, lumbar vertebrae which are coated here in blue. Then the muscle comes down right across through the internal organs and connects on the front of the thigh bone here. Now this muscle is a very strong powerful muscle and it has the ability to really create a lot of distortion in the pelvis. Now, there are anterior and posterior pelvic tilts and what we're looking for is there is a normal degree of tilt in the pelvis most of the time it's anterior and men pelvic tilt should be approximately zero degrees so the front of the uh, pelvis called the anterior superior iliac spine commonly referred to as the ASIS and the backside this bone here called the posterior superior iliac spine which is affectionately known as the PSIS these two bones generally in men should be zero to five degrees so parallel if not just a little bit tilted and in females seven to ten degrees so they're allowed a little bit more tilt but as the psoas begins to tighten in response to common muscular imbalances not having enough strength in the butt muscles or the hamstrings or on the front side here which would be the abdominal muscles the pelvis begins to actually tilt forward in an anterior position so there's an excessive anterior pelvic tilt now when that happens as you notice it creates an excessive curvature in the lower back and therefore causing the muscles of the uh, lower back to shorten which allows them to tighten. So as that uh, position continues to habituate through repeated posture and continuing the muscle imbalance situation it can create pressure in the lower back particularly in these joints called the facet joints and if you have more tension on one side of one psoas versus the other it can create uh, tension syndrome and subluxation actually of the sacroiliac joint which is where the ilium bone meets into the sacrum which is a plate in the lower back. So the psoas is a very important muscle in terms of how it creates distortion if it's imbalanced. So too much tension in the psoas muscle can create anterior pelvic tilts which is very common. Not enough tension in the psoas which is a little bit more rarer or a little less uh, frequent can contribute to a posterior rotation of the spine which can actually allow the lower back to flatten and make one more prone to things like such as uh, herniated discs because the back curvature is flat increases pressure on the disc. So that's a little uh, quick clip on the importance of the psoas and I hope you uh, come back to the visit uh, the blog on a regular basis and we'll have plenty more of these little flip videos for you. Thanks.